All right, folks, time to check up on r slash scrap mechanic. This time, let's see if we can hit 85 likes to continue this video series. This post just says, um, okay, let's see what, <laughs> what, what kind of a glitch is this? What is that block built on? There's nothing there. It's just a floating block. Oh, scrap mechanic. This was my best attempt to create a spooky scrap mechanic render. Oh, so spooky, spooky. Oh, I just, rea <laughs> just realized what's going on in this photo. Lots of glow sticks all over the place, but you can still barely see with all this thick fog, super thick. Those bots are coming to get you. Did you ever want to make mods, but coding is too complicated so you stay with normal glitch welding? Normal MJM glitch welder, the light green paint function. Oh, that is smooth. Oh my goodness, that is smooth. Is this for like a, like a, a monorail or something like that? Dang, that is smooth. This is how it should be done. Oh my goodness. Even if you're making mods, you're still gonna have trouble actually coding the collision for this part because there's no such thing as concave collisions in Scrap Mechanic. So, <laughs> this is actually the way to do it. And it's so smooth too. Oh my goodness, I can't stop looking at this. That's so good. Your monorail track is gonna be the exact same width the entire way through. This is actually better than building a track out of polygons. My Cookbot's food truck. It's always a good thing to make a dedicated food truck for Cookbot. Cookbot deserves the best. Fresh. Cookbot is definitely the best bot in the game. Maybe that's just my opinion, but I, he's just so adorable. Got the air conditioning and everything ready to go. Gas powered Cookbot. The new update looks weird. <laughs> what? This is, this is not scrap mechanic. It's a tote bot in a tub. But tell me, Axolot? What was he cooking? <laughs> what was he cooking? What the bot cooking? My McLaren Senna. Senna? No mods and glitches for this. Dang, that is a really nice looking car. Very low profile. Does it even have suspension? Oh, drifting around the corners. Seems to be moving really fast. Drifting around all the corners. Oh, and it looks like the wheels do have suspensions. I just can't see how they fit them in there. Really nice looking car. Oh, beautiful drift. Very cool racetrack too. Here we've got Mars Mechanic Sneak Peek. Let's see Mars Mechanic. Ah, the vast expanse of the Mars terrain. Looks really nice. And it looks like they got that low gravity in there too. This could actually be really fun, like this kind of terrain. Even with regular gravity, like this would be an awesome motocross kind of map rally cars and all kinds of stuff. But I think the low gravity makes it even better. Oh yeah, look <laughs> look at that jump. Awesome. Ready to explore Mars. Oh. Almost got the backflip. So they're just driving around for like four minutes in this video. But Man, the terrain looks massive. This looks like a huge map. And because there's no grass and trees and like bushes and rocks and other stuff, it makes it very simplistic and I guess uh, very easy on performance. So I'm totally interested in this. I would love to play on this map. I made a hover car to rule them all. You made a hover car to rule them all? The king of hover car, huh? Okay, it's uh a single part, a single mod part, that's just a platform. You can weld a car frame to it. You didn't connect anything, what? So does this just automatically detect the inputs on a seat? So it seems like it's a, like an all-in-one package. You don't have to build your hover cars anymore. Just slap this baby on and bada bing bada boom, it's a hover platform complete with controls and everything. So this can drive over the water surface 
and it looks like it also hugs the terrain. Pretty cool. Do you think it would be able to do like a like a loop de loop? Any ideas on how to get it back? Oh, they're talking about the resource collector is stuck underneath the ground. I think the way to get it back, you've already got your seat underground with some blocks. Maybe you can just weld it onto the blocks? Can you weld a resource collector that has stuff in it? I mean, you should be able to just pick it up, right? If you hop out of your seat and then like fall down with it so that you teleport back up, or if you're still on top of those blocks, uh, just lift up your lift and get pushed up through it. I don't know. I've tried for hours now. <laughs> Phantom mod is hard to install, change my mind. Yeah, I think the bigger a mod gets and like the more game modes it tries to get into, the more complicated it's gonna get. I still don't know how compatible uh, Phantom mod is with some other mods. Here we got some fan art. It's the squad. Dang, bro, you got the whole squad laughing. Wait, wait, what? Where's the green tote bot? You got the yellow one, you got the red one with an explosive on its head, you got the blue one with chemicals on its head. What would the yellow one have on its head? And where's the green one? Very nice artwork, these are totally adorable. Super cute tote bots. Who wouldn't like winter tiles? Ah yes, reminds me of the days that I made the winter mod. There's something about the winter season in Scrap Mechanic that, in my mind, somehow makes it like a more fun game to play. But it's just beautiful to look at. Maybe that's just my inner Canadian speaking, but uh, I can definitely appreciate this uh, winter landscape. And it has a waterfall? Is this like a hot spring or something? Looks like it. That's so cool, they have like a multi-level waterfall and like a pool of water here. Aw, oh, these are some very cool tiles. Whether or not it's even winter, just this waterfall sold me. I immediately want to play with this tile. Random pictures of logic connections. Not sure if I can call this spaghetti art. Oh. My gosh, I think you guys are just doing this on purpose now. There's not, there's no actual logic here, right? Like you're just connecting things randomly just to fill your screen with blue. Oh my god, <laughs> this is even worse. But they do have something going on with their connection dots. I can actually make out where they are. There's a lot of connection dots here though. Yeah, there you go. See, like this is a total grid of... Wait, how are you even in here? What are these connection dots? I don't see any parts connected to them. Like I can see into the spaghetti. I just sounded like a crazy person. Man, look at this matrix. The matrix is real and it's blue. Whoa, this is crazy. I really like the, the patterns on this. But this, like, what does this do? What, what is this for? I wanna know what this is. <laughs> That what? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely getting artsy with this. I'm pretty sure this is not actually anything. Like this, this isn't a logic creation that actually does anything. I don't know. I think they just built it just to do these uh, fancy line arts. Because <laughs> it gets so crazy. How do you even get this screenshot? You're like right in there. You're right in the logic spaghetti. I can't imagine a logic creation in Scrap Mechanic that actually needs this many connections. These waypoints mark out the road on almost all tiles, perhaps for future vehicle pathfinding AI or maybe a future racing game mode like Trailmakers? Who knows? Thought it was worth sharing. So they're taking a look at the tiles in the tile editor, it looks like. I'm not sure if this is for pathfinding, maybe it is. Like what if you had a farm built somewhere and then farm bots were supposed to target your farm? Maybe these are the pathways that the AI actually follows to try to get to your farm. So if you build a farm at the top and a farm bot spawns at the bottom, it knows exactly the path to take to get to the top without having to like run into the rocks constantly, you know what I mean? It will find a way around. That actually makes sense too because like you, you know, with all the connected lines, if a farm bot is on one of the lines, what is the smallest amount of segments, you know, to turn left or right, it'll just decide the shortest distance to go. Maybe it is pathfinding, who knows? I don't know, I don't know. Here we've got an overused meme. Is it really worth it? Is it? <laughs> oh, it's this entire time, the boba, oh no, it's been the glow boy eyeballs, no. <laughs> So many have been sacrificed just so that you can have your boba tea. It's time to ask the big questions in life. Is it really worth it to sacrifice so many glow boys just for some boba tea? You know, I've never actually had boba tea. Not once. Never tried it. 
Hey little man, how's it going? Hey little man, how's it going? Brr, brr, brr. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a wheel on a stick with an engine. Also known as my very first creation in Scrap Mechanic. And today's top post is a meme. When you are at the top of a warehouse. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's the fastest way down. Especially if you have a respawn bed on your car. Just fall down, drop your backpack, spawn on your car, go get your backpack, and then drive off. Probably one of the silliest parts of Scrap Mechanic survival gameplay, but I love it. And that's it for this r slash scrap mechanic video. Let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite post. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time.